experience is dependent on the experiencer state your opinion this i would like to again discuss with the fellow seekers is the experience dependent on the experiencer mukta said no anybody else agrees anybody else wants to agree <clears throat> or disagree and also tell me why because you know without simply saying no is not an answer that is called a guess you should explain your no or yes otherwise i cut the marks you know that satesh singh experience is in the experience or only movie in the screen but isn't the movie dependent on the screen that is what the question is asking in the metaphor movie screen where will be the movie if there is no screen is isn't that a dependency mary it is like asking if two sides of a coin are dependent together very good answer <laughs> the metaphor changes and your understanding changes bitu pen says both are one not two very good pratip is saying both are always together the experience is eternal should we answer it from the point of view of the non duality or should we look for an answer in the duality first you should think like this at, at which level the answer will be there nana is also saying there one shreya is saying the relations of oneness and are not mutually dependent hmm so let me see it's going to be controversial i think you guys should do this thing with <laughs> you see trouble other teachers with these questions you know so many teachers isn't it take these questions to the teachers see what they answer probably you know i am wrong who knows you simply assume that i am the last authority no no those who want they can take these controversial questions and put them before the best teachers homework send them email put it in the youtube comments i don't think they read it or if you join the satsang sometimes sometimes and ask these or some people are paying thousands of rupees to join the satsang who are going to trouble them little bit value of for money people pay this much money and they ask very very shallow questions like who was i in the past life <laughs> how many angels can dance on the pin these questions are valuable aishmani is saying yes experiencer and experience one just like how the fire and then there is light and warmth not separate gram experience is a word that is defined as that which arises for the experiencer very unique answer by gram but that's not clear whether it is dependent or not if it arises for the experiencer what is the relation is it of dependency or something nana is saying from the dual point of view observer or experience is required yes i was expecting this kind of split of duality and non duality yeah, gram is saying yes they are dependent so you see i think the trick here is that you need to answer from both points of view the dual and non dual to um, achieve the complete understanding and at the at the level of duality yes it is going to look like as if the experience is dependent on the experiencer and some people will go ahead and say without the experience there is no experiencer this is also the view not Uh, even thinking about the non duality that i am the existence don't think don't even think about it assume that we, you don't know anything about the unity or the non duality and you know only up to the duality the experience and the experiencer that means self realization so at that level you will find them as mutually dependent it is an illusion the illusion is produced by the mind is thinking process like the movie and the screen you see no screen then no movie and without the move movie if it is complete darkness you know let us extend the metaphor a little bit if there is complete darkness in the cinema hall you won't come to know where is the screen it's all complete darkness so those who are at the level of duality they will never realize the real relation and as many people have said at the level of non duality they are one so no relation the relation is of oneness like the pot and the clay the way when the water the ornament and the gold there one all the one is one part is changing one aspect is changing one dimension is changing other dimension is stationary even even with a even with this condition it is one but at the level of duality you can say the wave is dependent on the water you know where will be the where will the wave arise there is no water but you see water is never found without a form even if it is irregular form it will be a form so ultimately we conclude that there one but you can simply say that there will be an illusion of duality where one will feel as if it is dependent on the other this is done by the intellect there is no need to believe it 
I simply accept that it will look like this. The illusion will be like this. Yes, Graham is saying it is the artificial division for discussion. Yes, because as soon as you unite, there is no need to study also. What will you study there? It's completely unknowable. At the level of non-duality, there is nothing to study. It is completely unknowable. We need to divide. Then we can study. Anu is asking why is Gyanmar not so popular? I heard it from Pratik sir only. I have searched many doors but never heard of this part. <laughs> you know, it's everywhere really. Just that the awareness is very low in among people. It is mentioned in very much detail in Bhagavad Gita, which is very popular. Gram says, "What is Gyanmar? It is, you know, Sanskrit for path of knowledge, path of knowledge. So it is very much." given in many of the ancient texts scriptures the best is bhagavad gita narrated by shri krishna and that is very popular and he has very accurately defined the gyan yog or the path of knowledge he does not call it the gyan mark there he calls it gyan yog which is the same thing because the whole gita is about yog of this and yog of that you say 18 kinds 18 chapters so uh, it is very well known but what is the problem people do not understand it whatever you call sanatan dharma is nothing but path of knowledge and whatever you call as upanishads nothing but path of knowledge and whatever whatever you call as the rigved is path of knowledge there is no other path there except tantra maybe rituals but the ritual part is removed in the upanishads only the knowledge part is kept which is the proper part actually so everybody knows it it is right there in front of their eyes you know what else is there in india you know ved upanishad gita and so on bodh tradition buddhism is path of knowledge the <laughs> sikhism path of knowledge there is nothing except path of knowledge and the other paths are simply of shoots the other paths are there for those who cannot grasp it although when i say this people are you know infuriated they become angry Oh, he is saying my path is simply supplementary path for path. The truth is bitter, isn't it? Why it is not popular? Yes, nobody understands because nobody bothers to seek a guru. Cannot be understood without a guru. Guru means teacher only, isn't it? You can hit your head on the Upanishads for whole of your life, you will understand nothing. I am guaranteeing because it happened to me. Without guru, nothing happens on the path of knowledge. that is why people are singing praises for the guru because that is most important person in your life in all your lives actually all your hundreds of lives the most important person even though you don't ang- agree with him many times even though you don't like him you hate your guru many times but he will be the one who will give you that for which you are born that for which you are taken the human form 